Before the release of the FNAF movie, I made a video comparing the designs of the original Scott Cawthon models of the FNAF 1 gang and comparing them to the movie designs made by the Jim Henson Creature Shop. So in this video, as the FNAF movie has released, we are going to be comparing some more models using the movie and comparing them to the original designs seen in the games. In this video, we'll be comparing Golden Freddy, Balloon Boy, Shadow Freddy, and the Yellow Rabbit, also known as Spring Bonnie. So movie Golden Freddy isn't much too different from classic Golden Freddy. Aside from his now, he's just a bit more dirty. It's like he's more of a brownish yellow, not just like a bright yellow comparing to Golden Freddy. He's also missing an ear, which is just like how with Golden Freddy was in FNAF 2. Movie Golden Freddy does have some withering around his eyes too. One of his eye sockets is completely damaged, while the other one has a blue glowing eye. While the original Golden Freddy in FNAF 1 had like black eyes with tiny white glowing dots. Personally, I prefer the newer version since it's a mo much more different from the classic Golden Freddy because Golden Freddy is much older than classic Freddy going off by the lore. So it would make sense that he's more damaged. So Balloon Boy in the FNAF movie looks pretty similar to his classic FNAF 2 variant. Aside from now, he's just a tiny little toy and some small changes to his face. The rings around his eyes are different and his teeth look more noticeable. Personally, I just prefer the original since it just looks more normal. So Shadow Freddy in the FNAF movie actually has a couple differences comparing him to his FNAF 2 counterpart. In the FNAF movie, he's basically just a complete recolor of classic Freddy, just purple. And while in FNAF 2, he was a recolor of Golden Freddy, but purple. So you're probably wondering, where did I get this Spring Bonnie model from? This model was actually used in Help Wanted, well, originally it was used as a glitch trap before glitch trap became an actual thing in Help Wanted. So I'm going to be using this model to compare it to the FNAF movie design. Comparing it to the past Spring Bonnie used in the FNAF movie, like when the photo of Vanessa shows Mike, um, they're basically identical aside from the Spring Bonnie model in Help Wanted having grey eyes, while the FNAF movie model has, has green eyes, which most Spring Bonnie designs have green eyes, like the plushie and in Help Wanted. And now we're taking a look at the damaged Spring Bonnie. The movie Spring Bonnie looks like he's more burnt on the side, like on his... Um, on his right side, he has like burn marks. We have no idea what that is, never mentioned in the movie. Uh, could be burn marks, could just be weathering, who knows. He's also missing his ear, just like Springtrap, like half of his ear, just like Springtrap was in FNAF 3. Personally, I prefer the new Spring Bonnie compared to the Help Wanted model. It just looks much scarier, like it looks really good in dark lighting. So those are all the models we had to review today. Hope you guys enjoyed the FNAF movie, I did enjoy it a lot. If you want to see my review of the FNAF movie, I'll put a link in the description, you can go check that out. If you want to see more FNAF videos, I recommend subscribing to my channel. I'll probably be making more FNAF movie videos, mainly the FNAF movie novel that comes out, maybe even the FNAF DVD. I'll definitely do reviews on those two items. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!